Today's episode is sponsored to you by A&H Provisions. Meat and hot dogs that are so good, even Goyim understand how amazing they are. It's the next level of kosher food, and the website is kosherdogs.net. Get yours, enjoy them, a and Provisions. Here in the studio, Periel, of course. Hi. Uh, a uh, a kavua, a set thing, Periel. Leo's not here because the topic today is Jewish music, and he opted out. <laughs> 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 Leo, Leo, Leo is into a lot of Jewish stuff. He's been to the Kerestir grave with me. He's been to a tour all over Israel. But the Jewish music is what the Jewish music is when he's like, I don't need this. He draws the line. He draws the line, kind of. And I, it's my, I, I love it. It's he basically all I listen to. You're so happy right now. I'm so like, happy. Just at the prospect. Not only that, we have we have Ellie Levin here, who is uh, who is it's Ellie Levin, not Ellie Levine. Yeah, because that's my plastic but. surgeon. <laughs> <laughs> I don't, don't want to mix the two. <laughs> Ellie Levin. Believe me, I'm called Ellie Levine more than. I'm Ellie sure Levin. you are. <laughs> but we before you dive in. Yeah. This episode is being brought to you by. By A and H Provisions, the best hot dog, the best meats you can imagine, and everybody that has seen the videos all just always says, "Oh yeah, it's the best. It literally is the best." Seth, a uh, good friend of ours, and and j- not because he's a friend, he's our sponsor, our our advertiser. Yes. He is. Uh, it's the best meats. Make sure you get to it. Glot kosher, first of all. Yes, glot kosher, gluten free. What's not? Gluten free. Would have been nice gluten- if they sent a little. They send. They send. No, no. You, he's gonna send you a package. <laughs> that was the. Isn't that the agreement? That he sends all the guests a, 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 a package. Definitely like not. But I think we can no, probably what do you work mean? it in. No. You, he's gonna send you. I'm gonna make sure he sends you a. At package. least a little Frank and blank. Like mm. Oh my God. The, so I don't even eat meat. Okay. And listen, we can't drain the whole cup on on the on this okay. on this step. But he's our sponsor. We love him. A and H Provisions. What's the website? www.kosherdogs.net. Thirty percent off right. with. Code Modi, M O D I. Yes. Okay. Thank you. Now, Jewish music. What's good? What's good? You tell me what's good. First of all, I don't know. You don't know him. No. I love him. Um, I, I always loved Ellie Levin, and then I fell in love with Thank him you, even more during the pandemic. During the pandemic. First of all, I have to just say one thing. You did that was insane. During the pandemic, yes, the Hasidic world, the Jewish world, was not quarantining. And they were actually calling Ellie <laughs> to be like, hi, we're doing a, a Sheva Brachas in the basement somewhere here and there. And, and Ellie's like, Ellie made a video, which could have been like trouble for him. He goes, hi, this is not okay. <laughs> this is like two weeks into the pandemic. Do you remember this video or yeah. no? Yeah. He goes, hi, everybody. I, I love the Hasidic world. I love the Orthodox Jewish I'm world. I'm trying I, to get past that. Though. <laughs> no, but it was so. I was like, "This is great." And then I still have people making fun of me, like you know, because like you're hardcore Ashkenaz, like or whatever yeshivish. You're like, "What's wrong with you? you like, not, don't want to do events while like thousands of people are dying." It was today. like hours into the pandemic. It wasn't like yeah, it was a literally few months day one. in. It was like, "Hi, we're making a wedding. I need you to sing by us, and I'm gonna have to have you come by." And he's like, no, this isn't okay. I can't go to Lakewood and do a show. Um, no, it's but- only going to be 10 people. Yeah, yeah. Like, <laughs> Are you kidding me? 10 people? That's what I mean. They go, hi, we're having a few people. It's by the pool. In the, it's, it's, in the, it's in our backyard. So you, you get to the event. It's 500 people. And the backyard, if let's say it's, it's this big by this big, the pool is this big. It, 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 um, people, I forgot people I'm watching. The pool is half the backyard, so the, the, everybody's crumped into a corner. Anyway, we moved on. Everybody's well, um, and you were recording. You have a, in your in your in your own house a studio, right? Yeah, I have a home studio, and I'm like in there pretty much all the time. That's like 
99% of my waking hours are in that little room. Really? Yeah. And it's really g good stuff that comes out of there. I, I love it. I love it. I'm busy with it all the time. And uh, it's it's just my heaven. It's am it's amazing. And um, What song did I recently somehow land on that was yours? Da da na ni na 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 na. Vavavi. Yeah. You well, I cover it. Like, you have to realize I'm I'm all about covers, but that's an old, old song. Bavavi. I know it's an old song. Okay. But you covered it very, oh, very well you. to the thank point where you. I actually had to sit down and listen to it. Uh, Benny Friedman also covers it really, really well. Benny's a genius. Benny's a genius, and he's. Benny is uh, a part of the whole Avram Fried Mishpocha. Avram Fried is one of the biggest singers. That's why we have her here. So we have to explain right. to her I'm so the people who aren't in yeah, our it's world. It's basically one family that's like every single artist. Like it's all. Uh, like the eighth day is the same family. Eighth day is two of his nephews. They yeah. sing in English. Okay, you, you guys have got. Yeah, I've heard the name, this but let's first me. let's back up. Okay. Can you explain to the audience who Ellie is, who you love so much? Ellie Levin, you're a musician. He's yeah. a musician. Okay, I'm sorry. I never I never do the bio well. Go ahead. Yeah, it's good thing we have. Re, here, re, 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 okay. She, she I'm writes. Ellie really Levin, well. born and raised in Brooklyn, New York. Um, I've been singing since I was. Basically, since I came out, yeah, um, I, I'm much more known for like the heartic vibe, like um, the who soulful, soulful, okay, heart, heart, heartic, yeah, it's like I've never Yiddish heard that. Word. Oh, I love that. Sometimes she she pretends she doesn't know, but but she I'm knows. I'm just trying to help out. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> Go ahead. <laughs> but yeah, that's that's really my my uh, slogan on like. On my Instagram is if it's moving, I'll sing it. Okay. And I'm all about just trying to bring the heart out of every song, whatever I okay. can. It touches the soul. My slogan is if it's moving, I'll eat it. Yeah. <laughs> no, no. It's it's his. his <laughs> you said you don't eat meat. No. <laughs> no. His soul is very. His music is very, very soulful. It's very. Um, you do have some higher energy songs, but most of the songs are very like just y y your album. What was it called? Hear my prayer. Hear my prayer. So beautiful, it's one of the, one of the most amazing albums. If you just like need to to to, to vibe for a minute, give it a nice drive somewhere. That that's when Maybe I give it a try. Maybe you'll like it. I'm sure I'll love it. <laughs> you'll love it. I'm sure I will. She's like, um, <laughs> and and you and you perform a lot. Like I, I, I he's a superstar. Oh, He's a mega superstar a and is from the Bronx. Okay, you stop saying that. <laughs> You're a mega superstar and you Thank should you. lean into it. But I always see him performing in like, um, you you see him performing in like for an event where they want to have a vibe in it. They bring him, and uh, they bring Ellie, and and he he plays it and he he can read the audience. He can see what they need. If they're ready for a kumzitz, if they're ready to sing together, he'll put that together. If they need some background music that's not Jewish. I'm just reading her face. <laughs> it's um, it's interesting. I like learning about things that are totally out of my world. I think it's beautiful. And it's uh, and he's he's amazing with with that uh, to read the audience and to to feel like what they need and like if it's even if they're not in a mood to just focus on the music, which is so. Which is one of the easiest things and the best things about being a singer. I, I, if I go up on stage and the audience is not focused, I have no chance. You could still sing your song right. and Besides, they're just going like, through I it. I sing the same songs every night. You can't get away with it. No. That. Not only that, not only that, not only can you sing the same songs, you can sing other people's songs. Right. <laughs> I have to come up with a new joke and I can't be doing other people's jokes. That's right. You wow. have to. It's so. It's, oh my God. Comedy? Like. By the way, Modi's been crushing. I've been watching lately. Oh. Like, oh my, you're growing like that. But leaps and bounds. Leo, Leo's just t took over e everything with the social media, and he's just killing it. Um, wow. I just, I just need a red light in the stage. That's all I need <laughs> for anything. <laughs> That's all I need. Leo does everything else. Um, but uh, what was I just saying? And I got you distracted for a second. I, it's uh, totally you you don't distracted. know how to talk about yourself. No, no, no. <laughs> I'm talking about you. They know me. Yeah. Uh, but just uh, yeah. But the differences between comedy and music. It's like specifically like they. Like these, most of these big known singers that like speak, people only want to hear their famous right. song and they want to hear it again and again and again. Right. And you like you if you say the same joke twice, like like people. It's are like, like we heard it, <laughs> or even worse, we came to hear that joke and he didn't do the joke. You can't win, but you, but, but but they but they actually have to. They they do. 
I, I have the best audience in the world. I love my audience, and I, I I'm sure you do too. Yeah. No. Yeah, it's no, amazing. I'm, I'm always like I'm always surprised and amazed how things are going. Thank God, thank God. It's uh, it's been good, and I am working on a whole bunch of new stuff. Is there a new album coming out? There is a new album coming out, and you know, J Jewish singers drop one song at a time sometimes. Okay. Sometimes they put together an album, but sometimes they just drop some insane, amazing song. And you're like, and, you, and when you press, when you're on Spotify, you press go to album, you pray to God, please let there be 19 more songs to this, or not. Uh -huh. th th just so you know, in the Jewish world, okay, there's, there's the single songs that they drop, then there's the album, where it's like energy song, heart sick song, energy song, Hearts, you know, of soulful song, and it's ba 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 ba, and one big one, and one like big hit hit, and then there's the ones that record, I call it treadmill music. Each song is about a minute and a half, and it's bam da 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 da, and it, and you you're on the treadmill, and before you know it, an hour went by, and you didn't even feel it because you were at a wedding. That's am I right or wrong? I feel like Shlomi, we need to uh, have like one of the a best daily thing. One of the best for that, uh, Sh 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 Shlomi Daskal. Shlomi Daskal is so power. Sh Shlomi Daskal is just... He's an amazing wedding singer, yeah. and he he has that energy and oomph. I did a thing with him in Camp Agoda this summer. I was like so overshadowed. He's so like, and the and the boys were like... Insane! Bouncing. bouncing. Insane. Like, and, and, and he makes a good... He makes a good uh, album where you can just go on the treadmill for literally, I'm, and I'm screaming. I'm not even pretending to. I'm like, I'm just like screaming. <laughs> I'm screaming. I don't care. I, I just, I, I love it. There, there needs to be a feature on everything. What, what's Modi listening to today? Like, oh, you, know, you should do a playlist. I, I try to do that when, whenever I'm working out, like to put it in the story. But it never w works that well. Nothing ever I do uh, without Leo on the on my phone comes out well, <laughs> right? He, he'll he go <laughs> literally. I get a text. What are you doing? Nothing is spelt right on this. What are you? <laughs> boom, takes it right off. <laughs> Wait, hold on. Then you have so he's th that's a type of music that's insane. So you 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 have the singles, uh -huh. you have the album, and you have um you have uh, the the ballistic dance mu 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 music sets. But it's all under the umbrella of Jewish music. Like that's Jewish Hasidic music. Yeah. And, and is that funny? Because like Jewish music like is basically copying every single style. Like you have every it's basically trying to pick up from every single like and as time goes on, different singers come out that like are zoned in on different genres. But but yeah, I mean, when you think of Jewish music, you're, I'm, I'm, you're probably thinking of like Fiddler on the Roof or something. Bob Dylan, no. <laughs> um, no. So I think of Israeli music personally, <laughs> but I am understanding. That's huge now. Yeah, so, music is so. Huge. So, so j just so you understand, um, in Jewish music, like some of the most non-Jewish songs have gotten into the Jewish world. The oldest and the most known is Mashiach, Mashiach, right? Because it was, uh, it, 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 I, I, I found out recently that like nah, every nah, nah, Christmas nah. it was song a, is it was good. a song from it was a song from Eurovision from a German band. Wow! It was a German band, and uh, Mordechai ben David, the king, or one of the kings um, of Jewish music, took this and made it instead of na 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 Moshiach, 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 ay, 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 da, da, da. And it was just, it was the hit song for years and still is. Remember Yidin? Yidin, Yidin, Kim Zahel, Moshiach, 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 That was the one, I'm sorry, I mixed them up. That was the one that was, that was, it was insane. Yeah, it was like some Yid. Nazi. <laughs> it's, <laughs> like a, it's like a Nazi uh, theme song, and he made it into this Jewish song, and it was at every wedding, and it was amazing. And this is what you're blaring at Equinox in your head. I'm 100% at Equinox <laughs> uh, listening to this music, and um, and it's it's. Can I ask you, Modi, what what's your background? Like, where where did you grow up? I was born in Israel. I grew up in, in the five towns, but we always listened to Jewish music. I, I, I'm, I'm going to date myself now. It's going to be so horrible. We used to have um, 
WEVD. I don't know if you even know what that is. Art Raymond on, the, on WEVD. Was a, it was a radio station on, on AM, and they played Jewish music, and it was, it was where I, I got my flavor for it. And I went and bought Mordechai Ben David albums and Avram Fried albums. Those are the kings. Those are the, the good lehador. Those are the, am I right or wrong? Yeah, yeah. They are the ones and that... Shweki and, and, and in Shweki. And in Shweki. Remember the... Do you remember what, like when Mendy Wald, Israel Williger, Shlemy Dax? Of course. So I think that they're having a comeback now. A hundred percent. And so funny you said that. I even wrote his name down. Sully Williger, you said. So Sully Williger has an album called Karl Bruch Friday Night. Yeah, it's an album I have on my like list, and sometimes that album is my entire Shabbos. If I'm flying somewhere, yeah, and that's gonna, really yeah. And I know I'm going to land Friday. His Shabbos, the Hoiben. Right. If I land, and I know I'm, I know there's not time to go to shul. I'm not going to have a Friday night meal somewhere. I'll literally sit there, listen to the album from beginning to end, and that is my entire Shabbos almost sometimes. And it's such an amazing. Uh, it's an. It's an. It's a shkoyach to him. So they will go. So Funny enough, I Mendy think Wald yeah. has been like off the off the grid for so so long. He just hasn't been doing anything musically. And just yesterday, I think it was uh, Joey Newcomb went down, schlepped him out of his house, brought him to Donny Gross, who does like this music, and they were like singing and dancing all day. Yeah. In the studio, and they're hopefully going to put out some really cool stuff. Oh, I'm so excited! Yeah. So so excited. There's so many amazing singers. First of all, I I just discovered this one. I did, I did a show with him. I did a show for this organization. I forgot the name. It was in Muncie or wherever it was. It was a thousand people, w women on one side, men on the other, and they had um, oh my god, I just forgot his name. Uh, Sruli, I, I hate to describe him. He's a he's a gesund guy. Uh, uh, Unger, Unger, Shmuley Unger. Shmuley Unger. I'm sorry, I'm yeah, dyslexic yeah, yeah. and everything's. Uh, sh so, so it was me, is him. A, is a beast. It was me. He's a beast. He's a beast. Not in size. He can yeah. grab a mic and pick the room up and just spin it. It's insane how amazing he is. It was him, and then there was this other guy, Avram Mordechai Schwartz. Avram what? What do you call Avram him? Matcha. That's what they call him? Yeah. Reb Mordecha. Avram Matcha. Avram Matcha. He's, like, he's, he's got the white scarf, like a Rebbe. Yeah, 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 yeah. He's red beard. He's a ginger. And he is, he sings these songs. He's baritone. So that catches people off guard right away. And in the middle of singing a song, he'll start to give you like a Dvar Torah. And it's so good. He's so, his album's out. It, it's amazing. And he has. Did and you I know the side of Modi? Like and uh, she did not know. Yeah, I yeah. did not know. Yeah. And he has a few single albums where he has a kid singing in with him too. But the songs are amazing. And the meaning of what's happening in the song is so good. I discovered him. So, so just so you know, this is the show that's happening. It's a thousand people, a wall down the middle, the women on one side, men on the other. They sang their song. They bring me on to do. 30 to 40 minutes. As I get up, the guy says to me in Yiddish, kick nishtaran in the oigen from the women. <laughs> from the vibe shield. From, from the vibe uh, shield. They always call No, I have no idea what that <laughs> means. <laughs> do your <laughs> I'm, I'm working in front of the mechitz, uh -huh. in front of the wall, and the guy says to me, uh, do, do your show, but don't look, in, don't look into the eyes of the women. Don't look at the women. Just do the show towards the men. Don't start making like, hey, sweethearts, have you got you know the Botox bit I bit? Have you gotten Botox? That's not that's not the room, that's not the room. But it was an amazing thing. He says to it's me, charming. So, so this guy is is not only a singer, he's also like a a, a rebbe, right? He's like a little rub. He's a I don't know, he's yeah, a rebbe. Yeah, he's yeah, a yeah, long drushes. He goes into like yeah, it's a musical like like a trance kind of. Totally. Yeah. He also has an album that's a, a Passover album where he does I guess a seder. He sings a whole seder, and um, it's uh, it's so wonderful to listen to. A on a flight, this is what I listen to. He also did a new version of My Yiddish Mama. Oh, yeah? Like, you know how My Yiddish Mama is just, everybody sings it the same way. My like Yiddish Mama, yeah. da 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 He added his da, da, da. own. Like he did it. He took the same words and made it his own. So it's so funny. So he meets me backstage, and by backstage at this event, <laughs> It's backstage. It's these 
these events have production value. Am I right or wrong? They have sound, and there's like in the back, like, like uh, I would say maybe 25 feet long of guys with computers and sound and lights, and, and those are the most important people in, in my life. Because if, if my sound is off and my light is off, I have no chance. And same with you. So we're back there. He's going, don't forget to make extra, extra reverb on this and make the da da da. And, so, and then he looks at him, looks at me and goes, oh, you're, I know who you are. He says to me, he goes, you have a big schuss in Eurem Haber. All right, that's what he says to me. All right, you have a big, uh, a big, uh, we've talked about this. a great place in the world to come. Because of the Gomorrah that says comedians have a. So, right, right, so, right. So he says, he goes, do you know you have a big schuss in the world to come? I said to him, I'm banking on it. <laughs> <laughs> I am banking on it. Anyway, he's an amazing singer. I love it. I was at a, a concert where he was like singing and he tells the keeper guy, give me a ballad about a funky ballad. Oh, that's what he said yeah, there. Oh, but a funky ballad. <laughs> He's great. I was in I was in the loft this past week, and he walks in like there's something about his vibe with his scarf and his back. Like it feels like like yeah. Prince walked in like a Jewish. You oh, know, like, that's so funny! It, wow, like he's something. the Jewish Prince. No, he has it. He has something that's amazing. His voice is so, and he's following a guy who uh, uh, you know his his song Kiddush, Lama Machen Kiddush. That's like. Uh, that's his song. Yeah, that, that, I, I've, I've lived on that song for like. You've been years. singing it. Yeah. Oh my God. I covered it on my album on on Hear My Prayer. Love love that song. It's amazing. He's wonderful. He's people Google these names. Maybe we'll put it on the. You know, putting it anyway. Anyway. I'm still stuck on the don't look at the women oh, in stop the it. eye. She get, this is where we lose her. <laughs> um, Okay, hold on. It's interesting to I have it to is tell interesting. you, Go. one of my favorite voices in Jewish music, you're not going to be prepared for this. Are you ready? I'm listening. A voice that I can sometimes, if I can't sleep, I'll go on YouTube. Because he, 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 he didn't, ha he, he does not have stuff out. Pinky Weber. Oh, wow. Oh, my God. That's that's out of left. I was like, I was trying to like envision like who you were getting. Like this, of course, he? begs the question. Who is Pinky? Who is Pinky Weber? <laughs> Who's Pinky Weber? I don't even know who he is. He's involved. He's written parts of songs and songs. So whenever I see like like when um, Mati Steinmetz, yeah, has a song that his he has a part in it, and he actually sings in it with him. It's the the voice. It's like this. It's it's um. It's I'm trying to even picture. I can't remember the last time I heard Pinky Weber, but I'm saying he's like a like well known in the back end of, of Jewish music. But I, uh, it's a shame. Uh, like not, he's not known as a singer specifically, you know. But, but his voice. It's, well, you would tell me once you had something bump. with Chazanas, right? No, yeah, we'll talk about that in a minute. I just want to get through the singers here. I just want to get through. So, so do you guys feel like Pinky like Weber's a, a well-rounded, like, summary of Jewish music? It sounds like like Modi's going through the. Yud Gimel Ikram. <laughs> what is? <laughs> like, like the thirteen principles is like <laughs> the, uh, the third <laughs> of Amuna. This is a, uh, yeah. This is um, okay. Hold on. And another in the genre of you, but a little more Hasidic looking, is Dovi Maizels. Dovi Maizel. Dovi Maizel. I like that he says Maizels because that's like the Eli Levine. It's like funny whenever Hasidim come over to me and say, I know, what's your name? And I'm like, Ellie Levine. Oh, Ellie Levine. Ellie Levine. I'm like, right. oh, my bad. I said my name wrong. <laughs> you know? I'll can I tell you one funny story right now? I was in Israel, and uh, my friends who live in Ramada Sharon, I said, you, you know, and I follow singers. I said, I just to see where they are, what they're doing, because I just love them. And uh, I follow a singer, and I said to them, my friends who live in Ramada Sharon, I said, oh, you know who lives in Ramada Sharon? Chaim Moshe. And they go, who? And he's, he's just very, f and, he, and he goes, the uh, Azamar, the, the singer, Chaim Moshe. Chaim Moshe. <laughs> you have to say it, Chaim Moshe. He goes, Chaim Moshe sounds like a lawyer. <laughs> Chaim Moshe. It's, it's, it's so, it was like, so you're not Ellie Levin, you're Ellie Levine. <laughs> don't be my Zells. I'm going to be calling him that from now on. My Zells. <laughs> I don't call him my Zells. I call him my Zells. That's it's what like we, the, what's the, the, the what's that show? The yeah. show, yeah, Mrs. Mrs. Mizell. So he's insane. <laughs> I'll tell you a very <laughs> funny story that happened. We, we, we were... We were in a gig, uh, it's a Hasidic gig, on a boat. Hasidim, for some reason, in the summer, all do their appreciation for their 
uh, the corporate, corporate and the company they, parties. And they spend money and they bring singers so they bring him and, and comedians <laughs> and 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 it's and now I'm on a boat. I, I, not a boat like, you know, like a yacht. It's these boats that go around Manhattan and they give them, there's a caterer there with meat and everything. And A&H. Yeah, A&H. A &H. Okay. This is a good time to say, a, a, <laughs> their meat sometimes is not as good as A&H provisions. What's it, hotdog.com? No. 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 Kosherdogs.net. That's your job. But I website. mean, I had to pull it up in like a second. Okay. And you so, threw me so with hotdogs.com. Okay, so that's the middle one. Anyway, so they have this boat and they're doing these songs and there's a singer. And this one boat, I, I, imagine, imagine 55 Hasidic men with a big meal and they wanted me to sing. And the money was great. I'm not going to say no. It's in Manhattan. It's in Brooklyn, leaving to go around Manhattan. Right. And I said, yeah, I'm in. And they told me that Dovey Mizell's is performing too. So I said, I'm going to stay for him too. The boat's engine broke. So we didn't oh, even leave. Great. And no one asked, why did we not leave to go around Manhattan? They didn't care. Right. They didn't care. They're okay, they're on the, but they're, the same story. They had the, they, the boat in Florida was a bar mitzvah, never left the... Like, never left the dock. <laughs> oh, wait, I'll give you a better one. I was on a boat for Sharet Tzedek and... Uh, and the average age on the boat was in Florida also, and the average age on the boat was 80. And it was me and David Fisher. And the woman who was in charge says to the captain, hi, sweetheart. <clears throat> Everybody in this boat has seen the ocean, so I don't think there's really a need to go around the dock. <laughs> the, do the intercoastal is where the boat goes around. So we stayed on the, on the shore and ate, had the meal and we got off the boat. Uh, well, anyway. Could have done it the in the Stiebel and Back to the Flappers. story. So I went on first. I'm done. I could leave because it wasn't. I stayed. And it was one of the most amazing nights. Dovey killed it. And he has this bass. He has that bass. I don't know if it's a, it's a, it's a speaker. A this sub? Yeah. yeah. A woofer or whatever it is. For Hasidic music. And I was like, yeah. And everybody was in a very good place. They all had plenty of uh, of, <laughs> uh, of drinks. I love how interested you are. Like, she's a like, drink. is this real? <laughs> it's just real. It's just real. So Every time I turn around, she's like, <laughs> Do Dobie's amazing. Dobie's amazing. Dobie is nice. And he's lovely. done. So he did an album with Yoeli Klein. Yeah, they Klein. Which I was telling you, which it's an, a voice I really just discovered because my my Spotify threw it to me. And Yoli Klein and, and uh, your Spotify was Shia like, what Gross, is going on Shia here? Shia Gross, they came out with these albums, th these songs that are so heartsick and so deep, these deep voices. And I don't know, that was just, uh, that's Jewish music, I want to tell you, and agree, agree with me or not, is another level. Are you picking up on the Israeli stuff, like Yishai Rebo? I'm not. Yishai Rebo, obviously, I am. Yes. I love Yishai Rebo. Yeah? Yeah, I listen to a lot of Israeli music. I, I Because they're, like, taking over. Is really. it? I mean, like, even in America. Like, it's funny. When when, when Yishai comes here, Hanan Ben Ari, they, like, they, they sell out stadiums that, like, that American singers can't spell, you know? Amazing. Yeah, yeah. Yishai Rebo's killing it. I and can I'm, hang I'm doing with that three conversation. Three different Pesach programs that he's on. I can follow. <laughs> I can follow. <laughs> I'm doing three Pesach programs. So what cut is it? Let's move no back to the. So that <laughs> remember when he doesn't even care. Up. <laughs> it's his music, and he doesn't even care. <laughs> what? 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 <laughs> Your Yiddish Hasidic music. You're <laughs> desperate to talk about this with somebody. <laughs> oh, he doesn't care. He wants to talk about Israel. I'm totally on. I'm totally on. <laughs> he doesn't even want to talk to you about. <laughs> you can't get weird. I want to talk about music, and he's like, he's talking about Israelis. <laughs> Israeli, you have to be very careful because uh, sometimes it's, it's very good, and sometimes you just feel like you're in a falafel stand. No. Yes. No, no, no. it's amazing. I love Israeli music. Love. No. Is okay. Uh, My husband's Israeli, to? and he's no, he's I, obsessed. I with love it. I'm, I'm Israeli. I, every, you're every a New Yorker. You talk about who you're listening to is like. Totally, I'm like, whoa! <laughs> I did not expect like your your line. This is here. my, and I'm like, who am I going to talk? I, I'm going to talk to her about this. I'm, I bring you. We need I, a clip of. And Modi he's in the trying gym. to we talk to me. Of <laughs> like Modi in the gym. What do you do at the gym? Show me what you do at the gym. What are you listening <laughs> to at the gym? Set it. <laughs> okay, this is me at the gym. I put, I put the song on. Set it up. Set okay, the whole see. thing up. Okay, so here I am at the gym. I'm in a very nice place. Th th thank you to. Burning bush. Um, <laughs> <laughs> you know what that means. 
Okay, I get baby to the Jeter. gym. Shout out I to get, Baby Jeters. I, yeah, I get I get to um I don't even know what song. I just pick a good one. I get to the I I get my I set myself up. I'm at, coming out of the um coming out of the uh the, the the locker room I find my what I'm gonna do arms legs but whatever it is and I get to one of these songs um <laughs> and it's like <laughs> find my way of sweaty people working out turning and looking at Modi with his this is blasting over the sound system adjust my iPods my, my ear people, whatever the hell you call those things. Breathe. Take a fat swig of my pre-workout. And then just, uh, got it, it's arms day. Back, posture is always important. <laughs> That's me at the gym. That explains me. Modi's figure. That's oh, like me at the amazing. gym. No, but hold on. Back to Israeli singers. I'm telling you, the problem is when they when they're on their Ishari, but there's nothing like it. And then, but but then you have the ones. It's you're in a falafel stand. You're literally waiting for a shawarma to be served for you, and it's too aggressive. And it's too much, too detailed. Yeah, but that's not what it is. Oh my God. Yeah, that's no good. It's too much. But that's not what we're talking about here. No, we're not. We're talking about Jewish music that hits the heart. And that's why we have Ellie Levin here. Because Ellie's songs are so... Heartsick. By the way, this I, is a Friday afternoon right now. Wherever you're listening to no, this, this is going to air. This is going to air after Purim sometime. We, we <laughs> recording. The, we're about to go. Uh, we're about to go on tour in Florida, so we're recording a few out. But you, this you. is this oh, one can end uh, anywhere. How, how nice to get out of Brooklyn. I'm not in this, Brooklyn. In first of all. I'm not in <laughs> Brooklyn. I'm in Manhattan. But uh, no, we do. But you, you, you're everywhere now. But you, you're in Florida too. Come yeah, on. Yeah, yeah, no. But uh, when I hear you going, I'm like, okay, I'll, I'll figure out how to, uh, you know, rearrange my route. I'll follow you. I'll follow you to Miami. You will, huh? I'll follow you to any hot climate right now. Uh, yeah. yeah? This is too much for you, huh? Wait, I'm not done. I have so many notes here. Oh, my God. Hilarious. What do you think of Mati Steinmetz? Mati Steinmetz. I just saw the most heartfelt, moving clip from him where he breaks down crying in the middle of, of his performance. You're kidding. It's, like, so overwhelming it's like uh, you have to see this because even you'll pick up the jewish music can you send it to me please i will i will he's he's a middle singer and you see the rest of the choir is just like the the zoned in on him they know something's off like he's just like and he literally he got he gets caught up in the middle he stops and they continue with that you know they continue wow. to take over yeah i'll have to send this to you also have you seen on youtube where they have these massive auditorium madison stadiums of all hasidic guys and they have this band like a a hundred piece band. Yeah. You know what I'm talking about? It's like a like Honig. a shas kind of uh, yes. like uh, a Yes. It's and the singers come on. Could you imagine oh my the God. pressure on that? It's 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 like imagine one night the, the bouncers are all there for like a, a, a football game or like a whatever, some kind of a stadium. Yeah. Packed full of Hasidic and then men. The next night it's just black and white. <laughs> the entire stadium just bouncing. To like but they set up the music. They, they, they to who? This music <laughs> That's and they sing and, and, they, and these Hasidic that. singers sing and the music is amazing and it gets you into the and then the rabbis do their speeches of whatever they're 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 they're, they're talking about. But wow. But basically, Jewish music. You got what what you're describing is mm -hmm. like these guys are going out like this is their Rolling Stones. Like they're going out to see a yeah. rock show, yeah. right? Like yeah. that. More, more yeah. like it's some other event, like for some Jewish cause. Like it's usually <laughs> uh, celebrating the, fin the completion of the shots of learning. The the, the, the Talmud. Uh, the, they read the whole Talmud. They, they call it and the they, or or some other kind of get together. And there's rabbis speaking, but they make it into a musical event. Okay, so it's and not just like a. It's not right. 
Th that's that. But then there are just musical events too. When Avram Fried and Mordechai Ben David, these are the top two singers. I, w whether you agree or not, in my world, these are the guys that really, b before it was cool and every, it, they were it. And their songs are, their songs are amazing. Where Even are today these when guys? You hear, they live in New York. <clears throat> They're here. Looking for them. No, uh, I'm thinking maybe we should get them on the show. No, come on. When when, when you hear like a song of Avram, like a classic, when you yeah. hear. Adaraba, right. You just know that that song's coming on now, and and, and it comes to me because when it, when I drive, I have it on some kind of a shuffle. Yeah. And all of a sudden, that song comes on, and, and it's it, so nostalgic. It's like it's so it's nostalgic. It, first of all, it brings you back to your childhood, it brings you back to where you were, and it brings you back. And it and it's just the song is about just see the good in everybody. It is such a strong song. And it just brings you into a zone that's Were unbelievable. Were you in Kalbach? Were you? Uh, wow. Yeah. Wow. Have you heard of Kalbach? No. Shlomo Kalbach was this legendary. Like he, he he died many years ago, but he he was like a simple man who just wrote songs like daily, like hundreds and hundreds of songs he wrote, and his songs are a staple for every Jewish event that I do till today. Okay. Like everywhere you go in any Jewish event, like it's basic, calm, like relaxed. Or like dancing songs, but like it's just simple songs that like till today are still known everywhere. Okay. And he was also like a character, like a personality. Yeah. Like uh, he would go on stage and say stories and right. and give like ex like. And his voice wasn't the most amazing voice, but it it touched you in such ways. And every singer has copied it and taken it. And I don't even know, and I don't. I'm not big. The royalties of it. Yeah, I don't think that he he in his lifetime never cared about him. he would get crazy amounts of money, never had a penny. Didn't care. Like and, he and gave every songs. dollar away. He was a, he was a legendary person. A legend. I was actually in uh, in uh, somebody's house last night in Manhattan Beach, and I played on his piano. She bought she wow. she bought his piano in an auction, and she did a lot of work to it. So it was amazing. But uh, yeah, I was doing some Kabbalah songs on Kabbalah's piano. That's so, cool. Shlomo Kabel, just so you understand how, how important and how brilliant his music is. In the Nusach, in the motif of Rosh Hashanah and Yom Kippur and holidays, there's a set Nusach. And they're very, very machbed, um, very strict on what you can, in the Chazan, in the, in the Vad of the Chazanim, in the officiants of the cantorial music, what you can and can't change. And he has, they've managed to just say, yes, you can sing this in a Kalbach song. It's, mm -hmm. it's powerful. That's how powerful his music is. Um, can you, can you talk to me about Chazanas a little bit? Cause I'm trying to remember what you said. You had, you said you have some like, uh, so, so in the world of Chazanas, I, I loved Chazanas always. My, my first introduction into, into Jewish music was, there was a, a conservative synagogue near our house. It was called Temple Hillel. And there was a cantor there named Haskalah Ritter. No albums or no, nothing I've ever found. And I used to go as, before my bar mitzvah even, I used to just get up Saturday, put on a blazer or whatever, and go and just sit there and listen to him. It was an operatic like experience. He was amazing. Uh, he and that turned me on to it. And you would just like, would your parents be going to tempo? Like you, they were taking. Nah, they you just that went crazy. yourself. My, my my dad liked it, my, but didn't like. My mom were we we we, 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 we were traditional Israelis. We had chalan this and that, but we wasn't we weren't crazy. But I would go and listen to him, and I would be moved, and I would come home and try to hit the notes he did or try to sing the songs he did. And then Did you ever do Chazanas? Did you ever yeah. like, da like Davin for the Ahmed? Or? Yes, yes. So then I stayed with the hobby of with the hobby of cantorial singing, and uh, I went when I was in college. I learned voice, and I, I used to take jobs as a baltfila, baltfila. Don't make me translate that for you. I know what tefila is prayer. And bal is a, it's called master the tefila. It's just, it's a, it's a guy the who sings a song. The ceremony. Yeah, but not a cantor. Not, not, it doesn't do it with the operatic uh, uh, tone and all of that. And he, and, um, and then when I finished college, I had a, I had a 
scholarship to YU, the Bell School of Music, and I got to learn under Cantor Malavani, Cantor Beer, and Cantor Geffen, biggies in the world of cantors. And Shruli Williger was in one of the classes. Oh, uh, yeah? Yeah. I think so. Turkey? I'm not sure. I'm not sure. Have you heard of Noach Shaw? Yes. Yeah? I went to him. Did you? I went to him. In Queens, right? In he Queens. He is my ex... My ex's grandfather. He's like a legend in the legend. world. Legend. Yeah. Legend in Nusach. My grandfather. Legend in Nusach. I went yeah. to him one time because I had to learn how to sing um, Ne'ila. Oh, wow. So he was like showing me how to do the, you know... He's still rocking. You could go see he, him if you is want. He? Yeah, he would love to see you. Oh, yeah. I don't know if um, he'll get your jokes. And so <laughs> he's very serious. Yeah. And I told him that. Uh, anyway, but so that was. Um, so so then I, I, I took jobs here and there as a hobby, as a hobby. Mm -hmm. And then I was on the Howard Stern once, uh, on the Howard Stern show once. Yeah, and I yeah. did. And I, did, you, I didn't even know that. Yeah, and, and he loves to sing. He loves. So he goes, Modi, here's a, I'm going to start something. I'm going to see you to end it. He goes, Baruch Hu, Baruch Baruch And then we just started singing together. And people contacted me. He goes, do you do weddings? And then yeah. I got the certification of clergy, and I did a few weddings as a hobby, as a full hobby. I'm a comedian, not a chazan. And, um, but. Did you know this? Yes. But, oh. but. When it comes to cantorial singing, there are amazing singers. There's, there's Cantor Helfgott, which is a voice that is from Shemaim. It's from God. It's uh, and he plays the notes like a piano. And then there's my favorite cantor Wait one in second. the world. On, on Helfgott, I did a, an event in Five Towns once with, with Cantor Helfgott. It's on video. He hits his high note, Carla and Stola. Ca four cars. <laughs> <laughs> You're kidding yeah. me. He was singing them. <laughs> oh, wow. And, <laughs> the whole neighborhood is <laughs> like going off. He is. How crazy insane. is that? Did you ever hear such a thing? Like car alarms going off from a voice. I got to become friendly with him because during the pandemic at the Parky Synagogue, where he's the cantor, Benny Roganitsky, who is like currently the guy in charge of making sure Chazanis music doesn't die. Um, and he, we used to do events and cantorial and comedy and we kept it going. So we became friendly. And I was, I mean, I'm awestruck when I see him, but there is a cantor that's out there. He's not singing right now anymore. Ari Klein. I don't know if you've ever heard of him. Ari Klein is. There is a Is he related so to Yali Klein? No. Okay. No. Uh, he is uh, a cantor that's unbelievable, and he used to be the cantor before Helfcott at Parky Synagogue. And I remember seeing him, and I saw him, and I said, I need to be a part of his life. And I became a part of his life. I became a part of his family, uh -huh. his wife, Lauren, his son, Mendy. Um, and he, I made him teach me cantorial singing. I used to go to his house and we used to for an hour, he would teach me tricks and he would teach me nusach. And he, he couldn't teach what he had because it was all in him. Did he ever give you any tips uh, if you lost your voice, what to do? Did you ever, you ever have that? No, I had other teachers that gave me tips. Um, it's all in the breath and what you can do and hold it and just sit on a note and there's a million. I, again, something that's big difference between canto, uh, comedians and and um, and Music. musicians. I remember one, one time I lost my voice completely. Uh, we were out partying, raving, it was crazy, and then I had I, I lost my voice. The next day I could not even talk, and I had a show. 24 hours and I, I just didn't talk right and then I came out hi everybody how's it going and I was a little raspy but that was it I don't know if you guys catch a cold it, could, you, it could be terrible it could be a disaster yeah, I had I had like a few years ago where I, I got a polyp but like I completely like had, I had no voice for like wow and I had to get a procedure done and I, I couldn't talk for 10 days after that and then eventually came back and at that point, I stopped doing Shabbos gigs because Shabbos, there's no mic, and I'm screaming. And, right. And, and since then, like, I, 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 like I've never had a situation like that. But, yeah, I could come down with something. I could be I, little. I would say something. Davening with a mic is one of them. I have a cousin. She's, uh, I don't know, if the shul she belongs to is reform or conservative, whatever it is. And they, it's this gorgeous synagogue in Miami, one of the oldest. It, and there's a mic. And the service she does is a uh, the Motzi Shabbos uh, 
it was for her daughter's bat mitzvah, and they told me to do this service. I schlepped it out. I did a concert there. I started singing things that they, she didn't ask me to sing. It, it's like, what an amachai to be in a shul, yeah. that acoustics and a mic. Yeah. But otherwise, you have to learn how to sing to put it out yeah. there loud. It's very, it's, it's one bad. of the hardest things it's in the bad. world. Yeah. Um, I don't know. I got pretty much a lot of the stuff that I wanted to go off my, Yehuda Green. Yehuda Green, I was another hoping would bring another that up. singer that's out there. You know Yehuda Green? Oh. No, I didn't know Yehuda Green. But is that an amazing? That's like yeah, that's an embodiment of, of that. I don't know if that's a word even. It, it's uh, embodiment. Embodiment in of ba- embowelment. <laughs> I'm such a putz. Um, embodiment of Shlomo Kalbach, the singer we yeah. were talking about before. He has taken his music and he's. And he has his slichot services that are, if you ever get a chance to experience that. Uh, unfortunately, I don't usually get to because it's a Saturday night and I'm working. But it, uh, it's, wow. What no? is this? What yeah, is he, that? He, so, so first of all, Yehuda Green is, is like, uh, like he said, like an embodiment of Shlomo Kala. His, his, his whole vibe is this sort of like sweet. Uh, like great songs for great harmony. Like it's very easy for everybody to get involved in. and sing and along. When he does the slichos, it's called. It's like Rosh Hashanah time. Um, in the past, it's been like this, uh, like the dead kind of like everybody has to wake up uh, like early in the morning to do like uh, these prayers, sort of like begging forgiveness. But it's like, you know, it's like you drag yourself to it. Now it became like this. Like common thing that Mashi- does it became Mashiach energy instead of Tisha B'av energy became a Mashiach energy. You have a it. room full of Jews that are of all types They're of all, all Hasidic guys, singing. young Israel guys, Reform, conservative, but they just know this is going to be an event where you're sitting there singing, coming together. It is amazing. I brought my dad to it once. He was wow. It was it was so. It's such an unbelievable event. And Yehuda Green did, does this, and it's 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 magical. It's literally magical. Uh, anything else I want to get? Yiddel. I love Yiddel. Y- 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 Yiddel is the son of of MBD. of MBD Mordechai Ben David. Remember he was talking about Avram Fried and MBD. Okay. <clears throat> I love I like he he is now explaining to you. This is me on the podcast every time. Every time we throw a Jewish word out, I gotta tell her what it means. Y- 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 was on my, and he had an album that was coming out when I was hosting that show, Jewish Stars. It was, and it was amazing. I wish he would put out more albums, but he has such a soul and such a. He he has a reputation in the Jewish industry as like next level music production. Like his his yeah. his music and his songs were like clever and. Yeah, it's time, Yidel. It's time to put out a a, a new uh, and it, release. And if we don't talk about one of the savant geniuses of Jewish music, we this podcast is Hefke. Lipa Schmelzer. The Heilige of Lipa. The Heilige of He is... Uh, <laughs> I can't... The songs he writes, the songs he writes... Lipa is the Jewish Lady Gaga. Nice. That's nice. good. Shkoyach. The songs he writes... The tunes and the melodies. He yes. has these great. Can I can I say one of his songs in Yiddish, um, is basically it's a story. This guy comes to his neighbor's house. He wants to borrow his lawnmower. Okay. Okay. So he knocks on the door, and he, while he's waiting for the other guy to answer the door, he's thinking like, yeah, he's gonna lend me his lawnmower. It's like imagine he doesn't lend want to lend me his lawnmower. Mm. He's like, what, what kind of disgusting neighbor is that? Like, I, I invited him to my kid's bar mitzvah. He starts going back and forth in his head. Finally, the door opens. The guy's like, I don't need your stupid lawnmower. And walks away. <laughs> that's the, it's like a bit. It's a, it's a, a bit, bit, but it's also, that, that's also a very, it, it, some people use it as the, the jack. Uh, the jack for the car. The guy, car breaks down. And, but, the, he, but he puts it together in such an amazing way. But the other songs he writes, um, w- w- again, what, what I'm what I, yainis, which means like it's in your head, like, so much of whatever we're going through, all the like arguments and and unhappiness, is is you're doing to yourself. That's yeah, the, the idea of of that song. Right. But he has all these clever. And what's it called? The song. Demyanis. Demyonot. Demyonot. Okay, to imagine it. Demyan in Hebrew. Yes. Yes. Yeah. Yes, yes, yes. There's a Yiddish way to say it. Yeah. yeah. D- d- no, but I'm just saying, like, if you look it up on, like, how do you look that yeah. up? Um, 
Yeah, probably. Lipa uh, Schmelzer. There's not too many out there on Spotify. Get into his music. It's amazing. He is, the songs he writes, and sometimes when I'm driving, I'm like gig in the end of New Jersey, and I'm driving home myself, and I'm not with Leo, so we're not listening to a podcast. I have this going, and sometimes one of his songs will hit, and it's just, I don't know where he came up with it. I don't know how he wrote it, how he, um, the Cholam on, a, on a, the, uh, the Yom Kippur. Uh, yeah, he has it's, some it's really clever. Clever, genius. He's a genius, and he's an energy, and he'll just start rapping out of nowhere and singing out of nowhere and putting it together. Lipa Schmelzer is a, he's a, the Lady Gaga of Jewish music, but he is, he's, a, it's a savant, it's a gift. And then, of course, there is Mordechai ben David and Avram Fried, which are kings. The voice of Mordechai ben David is so special. It's so, you know? He just did a concert with Yishai. Uh, yep. On Hanukkah. They've all, they're all doing, everybody's doing a concert with Yishai. Yeah. Everybody's, this and that. And then there's like beyond superstars, there's a Shweki. There's Shweki. And, yeah. And I, I think we need to just, on the, when we post this, just make sure to put all these names on it. People, if you want to hear this music, please Welcome listen to Welcome to it. the world of Jewish music. Yeah. Yeah, he's giving you the lowdown. Like basically, the lowdown, I, didn't, yeah. I, didn't, I didn't even see where this was going, but basically you covered all the important... I, uh, I did not. I did not. what about Barry They're, Weber? Are you a Barry Weber fan? Wow, wow. Barry Weber. Oh my God, his Fabrengen albums. He, he has a sweet, sweet voice. voice. Crazy range. And it's got real hearts. It's got real neshama. That I'm Any relation to Pinky Weber? No. But, or maybe. I don't know. <laughs> but Barry Weber and has found these out amazing... found that all the Avon Freeds and Benny Friedman and, and, and Eighth Day and all the... And there's Ellie, Ellie Marcus. All these guys are all one big family. So. Which, which is my, by the way, they are my Chabad family. Uh, I don't know if you know what that. What does that mean? When I was in, in BU, I went to a yeshiva that was... a. Uh, when I was at BU, there was a, a Lababa Yeshiva right there, and I used to go there. That was the Yeshiva I went to go to. Mm -hmm. I, I did both. I was super I into remember, it. Are you, like you, there was like a picture that came out with you like in front of the Lababa Rebbe. Right? Yeah, a few. So what, you have like a, a, like a Chabad history? I don't know. I, 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 yeah. Yes. Yes. I, I'm curious Yes. About that. I am Chabad energy. I am Mashiach energy. And that is, that's, that's, that's it, period. I, and my, the family that I c came into the most in Chabad, I had a friend in yeshiva named Chaim Marcus, who is Eighth Day's brother, uh, Benny and Shl Shlomi, right? Right. And they, so I knew Benny when he was two years old. And they always sat, and the Shabbat table was, the, the, their Shabbat table was a concert. Now they are, again, Avram Fried, and Avram Fried has, which we had a guest here, a brother named Manus Friedman. And Manus Friedman has a son called Benny Friedman. Okay, and then Avram Fried has, uh, uh, had, Avram Fried has a sister, and she has the son, he, she has Ellie Marcus. Who's a singer of his own? He is. Uh, he is uh, th with a double-breasted little hat. Amazing and great voice and sings. And the other two sons from the family are uh, Benny and Shmuley, right. and they're, they're, they're a band called Eighth Day. Okay. I mean, they sing in English, a lot of songs in, in English on half Yiddish and half, and they're amazing. It's got a fun like hip vibe a hip vibe not like on the other it, it's like a it's like a something it's a sh 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 shinui it's like a little something different in that world okay. but that whole gotta family gotta shout out to zusha right you know zusha you ever listen yes to yes so he's uh he's got this like like uh what do you call it? like a mellow yeah like trippy vibe yes situation going zusha on. yes who else am I missing? I, I feel I, I, if I'm missing people, we'll we'll do another episode and and bring all of the uh, other. All like, was I'm just kidding. Sure. <laughs> um, okay. And uh, this is great. Yeah. So this is really given like a little a little. It's a taste. On it's, on 101. it's 101. It's yeah, Jewish a music 101. On the Jewish world. You brought your guitar. You brought your guitar. Yeah. Not yeah. for nothing. Yes. And uh, so, like Modi said, it's not going to air today, obviously, but we are right now Erev Shabbos, so. I think it's 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 a good like Arab Shabbos vibe to do a little. I'm gonna I'm gonna thank you for that, um, but I would prefer. Well, go ahead. Look, pull your guitar out. Go ahead. Wait, I'm curious. What are you, where are you where are you heading? 
I'm going to different. Am I going to fit in this? Just a. We'll try it. Oh, baby. This is my setup for our guitar. How are we looking there? Good. What are you, you going to hit us with? And then, I'm, and then I have a request for afterwards. Speaking of which, yes, we are on the cusp of Shabbos, and this is going to end on a Wednesday, th four weeks from now. Um, currently, right now, my Rebbe, Rabbi Yoichel Yisrael of Kerestir, the oldest living, the oldest living relative of Reb mm -hmm. who I had the schus of going to Reb Shaila's grave with him. And he is the great grandson of Reb Shaila, and we went there with his great grandson. Oh, wow. It was one of the most unbelievable, moving experiences of my life. Changed my life. Uh, uh, since that trip, my life has been a different ballpark. Currently, right now, he's going through a little something with health. Hatzala Air is involved. Hatzala is involved. Amazing doctors are Shout involved. Shout out to Ellie Rowe. Ellie Rowe. Echo Romeo. Echo Romeo. Is that his thing? So if we could sing uh, Reb Shaila, yeah, of course. just to oh, and channel some energy right now. I'm all about Reb Shaila. And uh, just, just to sing to him. Maybe, maybe we'll try to get you. Dina's father. In. Dina's father, obviously.
What are the words to that? Let them know what the words. Reb Shai ben Reb Shai ben is the name of this rabbi. That we went to go visit. Mm-hmm. He, Reb Shai was known less about crazy like miracles, but more about his intense love for his fellow Jew. He was all about giving, just feeding people. That was what he was known for. Like, come in, let me help you. Like, people were dealing with whatever. They were, let me feed you. Let me show you love. Let me show you warmth. Um, Poyol Fakal Yisrael means, like, work it out for us up there, for the Jews. Work it out for Kal Yisrael. Poyol Fakal Bune Chayim Ezoyne Revichet. Children, livelihood, Parnasa, food, like just, just take care of our basic necessities. That was what what Rav Shaila was known for, like just his deep love and concern for a fellow Jew. So this song is is like uh, just a place to go to to to, uh, to like really dig dig in deep and like feel a connection to channel to channel his energy and to remind you that you should be channeling this energy out. Beautiful. That's it. Yeah. Yeah. Um, did we go way over? We're good. I can't thank you enough for coming. Thank tell you. tell every listener where they can be a part of your life. What's coming out? What album? You're on, you're on Instagram. I'm on Instagram. I'm on Spotify and Apple Music and all the Instagram. Ellie Levin. Ellie Levin Music. L A. Yeah. E L I L E V I N Music. No E at the end. No Levine. Right. You could call me Levine. I don't know. No, 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 no. But <laughs> Ellie Levin. And uh, let me just remind, don't be my Zells. Uh, I got to, uh, that was my own little, uh, like, I, I needed it. Don't be my Zells, yes. Yeah. Um, <laughs> but uh, Ellie Levin music, you, you could check out on Spotify, Ellie Levin. I have a couple of albums, a couple of singles, and I'm going to be releasing some, some good new music coming up soon. Um, and my website is l11music.com, and that should be able to update you and show you where you can find uh, the music that I want to sing to you. Yes, and uh, I'm Modi underscore live at instagram.com, modilive.com for all shows and information about coming up events, which are Baruch Hashem all sold out. Um, we can follow him to Florida. You could get yeah. comedy and warm weather. Yeah. And you? I'm at Periel Ashenbrands on Instagram. And I, I can't thank you enough for coming in today. This was like an episode of Periel to, to everything Jewish. Music. I love it. It's if, great. If there were singers I didn't mention, I promise you I'd listen to you. I don't know. I'm sure we'll get um, sh- people yeah, why didn't you mention in. Why, him? why didn't you mention him? her? Um, Mordecai thank Shapiro. you. What? Mordecai Shapiro. He's. he's just uh, Abra Mordecha Shapiro. No, no, there's a there, that's Abra Mordecha Schwartz. Schwartz, Schwartz. Mordecha Shapiro. Mordecha Shapiro. Oh my God, Mordecha Shapiro. Yes, Mordecha. Shout out to him. He's you guys can send it. in. You can. He was. Send uh, he's in. a child prodigy and sang uh, uh, Ra- Rachem. Rachem. One of the mo- one of the most beautiful songs and one of the most annoying songs in the world. 
It's just the repetition of the word Rachem, Rachem, no, Hashem, okay, Rachem, 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 Rachem. God's like, enough, please, enough. I, I got the Rachem on a I'll give it to you. But Mordechai Shapiro is an amazing singer too. Sorry, sorry we didn't mention you. And there's a million people we didn't mention. Love you all. Thank you all for listening. And again, thank you so much for coming in. Thank you. Bye. Bye.